Hi, my name is Katie. Some people call me Kat, and my mom always called me Katie Bug. Today would have been her 69th birthday. She passed away 11 years ago, and so I just wanted to take a moment to honor her and give thanks for her being in my life. The first card that we have for today is the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is a very grounded earth energy in its elemental sense. It's telling us to slow down, stop, take pause. Uh, we may be feeling a sense of inertia in some areas in our lives with projects and what it's actually reminding us to do in an intuitive sense in the body is to make sure we tend to practical matters, don't skip steps, don't rush into things, and just actually take pause. Now inertia isn't always a bad thing in that sense like if you consider plants they go dormant which can seem like it's inertia in the winter time but they need to do that in order for them to actually bloom so this is kind of like a calling in of energies retention of energies and you know grounding ourselves and taking care of practical things today now the second card that we have for today is the star and this is a a card that's ruled by Aquarius and has some positive tides to, to Uranus energy. So Aquarius is that energy of hope and big picture and Uranus is an energy of unexpected uh, and strange changes in areas that have that are considered outworn conditions. So you know we have to remember that we we have a goal in mind and this is a card of hope it's telling us that if, if you have a true wish in yourself to get somewhere or be somewhere or it's a wish of the heart that you're on the right path but in order to actualize that wish you have to take actionable measures to actualize that and sometimes that's in planting a seed during the times of the new moon, which is actually coming up. So I do invite you to sit within yourself and to feel uh, emotionally what those experiences would feel like inside your body so that you can call those energies into your life as we move forward throughout the year. The third card that we have for today is the sun card. Now the sun card is considered the most beneficial card in the entire tarot deck because it is this energy of realization and awakening and it's reminding us to follow you know our heart's desires and in such a way that it comes from our essential self and it's a realization in our sense of self in that you know in in a way like if we listen to the body and listen to how it responds to certain circumstances and situations we can feel how our own being can grow similar to how we respond to sunlight you know and and one one situation I'll, I'll reflect on often for people to get a sense of what I'm speaking about in this way is like uh, if you've, you've ever had a pet or an animal or even a niece or nephew or a child or someone in your life that you go to give them affection and it literally like blooms your heart open and you can feel it as a sense in your body and it's profound it's almost breathtaking because you can feel your emotional and energetic center of your heart opening in that experience and this is the way that I consider you know the growth of flowers and what they need to bloom because they need sunlight they need that warmth that comes from the sun as the sun grows in intensity and if they don't have that light they can't bloom and I think that we're really similar in that way and so there's something today that gives us a sense of realization of of either what helps us bloom or how our own light can help others to bloom and in that way we are realizing our own inner sun. So this is the reading for today, a very beautiful card and set of cards to remember, remind us to center and anchor in our deepest wish so that we can bring it into the world because it's through that becoming of our, of our own inner light that we can help make things happen. I send you so much love and I will see you again tomorrow.